Deborah Kimmett. Debbie do Debbie cakes. Debbie Debbie Debbie. Would you welcome fresh from putting on her genetic makeup, Deborah Kimmett. What happens is, instead of having a fat body, you have a fat head all the time. And it's like your, your fat head, your brain, wakes up ahead of you in the morning and it sits at the end of the bed in a pink skirt with no underpants. <laughs> And it's eating a package of bonbons going. I've been up for hours. You slept in. I guess we can't work out now. And this fat head, it never tells you what's wrong with you as a person, what's wrong with your body. It just whispers in your ear all day long. It's like this. It falls. Oh, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have said that if I were you. Mm. No, he's not going to like that, not one little bit. Mm. Why don't you have a cookie? <laughs> now look at you, you're fat. So are you still dating that witch that you dated in high school? Which one? The blonde one, you know, the one that just busted your chops every time you turned around. She was such a... I mean, unbelievable, that I, piece um, of work. <laughs> you mean, um, you mean Allison? I, I, I married her. Hey, honey. And I'm, I'm at the, I'm at the age, well, I've always been like this. You know, I can't, I, do you ever do this where you can't remember why you walked into the kitchen? You know, so I was like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I need the, um, I, uh, the, the thing, you know, I want some, because I'm, um, you know, I'm going to, I'd like some of that stuff, and you put it in the, the you push it down, and then it pops up, it, um, it starts with an R. You know, I can't remember anything or anybody's name anymore, but I can remember every food I've ever eaten. I can remember every event by the food that they served. And my whole family's like this, we sit around like this, you remember... The, the thing where the, the wedding, the, um, there, was a, there was a white gown and there was, um, oh, they got married and there was the filet mignon with the bacon and they had the masculine and then they, they wrapped it in that mushroom puff thing and it was a Stilton reduction. It was so delicious. What was the name of that guy, the guy? The guy that I married, what was his name? And you see this when you go into the superstore, it's like a Garden of Eden in there. There's so much selection. We don't have to eat in season anymore. And the only thing hard about being, getting our food today is just getting out of the checkout line. I mean, the hardest thing right now, and the closest thing I have to hunting, is trying to get through those self-checkout lines at the superstore. <laughs> That's what it must have felt like to get your dinner. For those of you that haven't done it, the computer talks you through the checkout thing, right? It sounds like Stephen Hawking. Hello. <laughs> it's like that. And, and you, it's, it's actually, hello, you know that. Um, and what happens is you have to scan the items and put them in the bag. And the computer's like this. Beep, put the item in the bag. <laughs> Beep, put the item in the bag. Take the item out of the bag. <laughs> Scan the item. Scan the item. Scan the item. <laughs> Call the cashier. <laughs> the cashier's like this. <laughs> I'm not helping you, I have carpal tunnel. In the country, right? There's six bags on this carousel. So I fill them up, one bag off. The computer goes mental. Put the bag back in the carousel. <laughs> Shoplifter. Shoplifter. <laughs> and I can still hear it screaming after me as I go out this Get back here. <laughs> Get back here, I'll tan your ass. <laughs> so it's crazy out there. I mean, we've got a whole supermarket available to us, right? And once you have tasted Cajun black, you can't go back. 
You can't go back to tuna casserole with mushroom soup, mm-mm. Mm or spinach bread dip at wedding showers, uh-uh. We're moving forward. Our palates have become a global village. Our taste buds are like an Up With People conference in there. And I say that we should open our minds as much as our taste buds. I mean, you can't eat a man's curry and then tell him to take off his turban. <laughs> we would be closer to world peace if the next G8 summit was held at a food court in Switzerland. <laughs> and they had a recipe exchange. Oh my God, I'll give you a little bit more of that West Bank if you tell me what you put in this falafel. <laughs> Don't get too big for your britches with Deborah. Deborah. Oh, that sounds like you're in trouble. <laughs>